In this video, I'd like to show you how to add some organic and dynamic movement to your animations using easing in and easing out. So up until now, all the animations that we created using classic tweens have been linear. In other words, they've been moving the, the, at the exact same pace during the entire animation. Let me give you an example so you get the idea of easing. So now I have a linear animation of a ball moving up and down. To show you the difference, let's make a copy of this. I'll double click and call this ball. I'll make a new layer and then I'll hold down the command key on my keyboard and I'm gonna click and drag across to select this entire tween of animation. And then I'll hold down the option key and click and drag to get a copy of this animation. I'll lock the first one we did and I'm gonna go over here and use something called edit multiple frames, which is a way for us to edit an entire piece of animation or just a portion of it. So I'm gonna select everything or I could click over here and say, select all frames. And then I'm gonna press command A, which is select all. And holding the shift key, I'll press the right arrow and push this other ball across the stage. Okay, I'll turn off edit multiple frames by clicking here and I'll play this back so you can see that I have the exact same animation in both spots. All right, so let's take the one on the right and see if we can add some, some movement to it. If this is a real bouncing ball, it would actually pick up speed as it fell to the ground. So let's see if we can make that happen. If I click in the very first keyframe, on the properties panel, you'll see I have something called tweening. And underneath that, you'll see ease, ease and effects. And really no ease and classic ease at this point are the exact same thing because my line is exactly straight. It's a linear animation. Let's just start here with ease in or ease out. Ease in, which means the animation will start out slowly. It'll slowly animate in and then it'll speed up on the way out. You'll see it in the graph, it slowly starts the curve and then it quickly picks up speed as it goes to the end. So let's give it a shot. So we do the ease in quad, which is a preset ease. I'll double click and I'll play it back. So notice how the both balls touch the ground at the same time, but the one on the right has easing applied and it starts off slowly and then it catches up, looking more like a ball bouncing. We'll do it again on the second keyframe. When the ball bounced up, it would bounce up quickly and it would slow down as it reached the top. So we'll come over here and click. And this would be an ease out, right? We'd want it to slow down as it went to the end or the out part of the animation. I'll double click the word quad and I'll press command enter so we can test our movie and see it looping. So you see the ball on the left is just going up and down, kind of like Pong. Linear format, the pacing is exactly the same. But the one on the right has some dynamic movement to it. It falls down quicker and slows down as it goes up. And it looks sort of like a bouncing ball. We're just missing that little squash and stretch at the bottom. But you get the idea. All right, so let's close this. So why don't we jump back into our movie and create a very simple bird to apply these easing properties. First, maybe we'll clean up our timeline a bit. I'll click to add a new folder. I'll call that audio and I'll click on the first layer of lightning, hold on the shift key and click on the wave, select all four and just drag and drop them into the audio folder and collapse it with this triangle, reducing the clutter on the timeline. Next, maybe I should lock all the layers so that I don't move anything accidentally and I'll add a new layer for our bird. Just gonna make something simple. So maybe I use the line tool, I'm using gray or a dark gray or something and I'm just gonna click and drag a straight line. Very simple. I'm move back to the move tool. I'm gonna hold down the command key to click and add a point here. And I'll click and drag these up to add a little curve. And then maybe I'll click and drag the wings so that they're a little higher in the start position. Something like that. Okay, I'll double click it to select both lines and I'll convert it to a symbol by pressing F8. I'll call that bird. And a movie clip is fine, so I'll just press OK. All right, so now we have our bird. Maybe I'll have that bird start at about frame 15, so I can just click on it and drag it in, right? So there's nothing happening, and boat comes out, and then the bird flies in. And then maybe I'll have the bird go to about three seconds. I'll click on the Insert Keyframe button and add a keyframe. And then maybe here, I can click and hold and add a blank keyframe so that the bird is gone by that point on this timeline. Okay, I can right click now if I want and create a classic tween. We can create the tween either before the movement or after the positioning of the keyframes. So here I'll click in the first keyframe, I'll click, I'll press Q to get the free transform tool here. And I'll press the shift key to hold and constrain proportions of my bird. And maybe I'll bring the cursor to the outside to rotate the bird. Maybe position it in the right hand side. Okay, we'll move down the timeline on the second keyframe. Maybe I'll press shift and drag and make it as small as possible. So the bird is going off into the distance. And then I'll grab my move tool and position it up in here at the top of the clouds. Using the space bar to get my hand tool to move the canvas. And I'll just drag it up there. 
either go into the library or just double click to edit in place. And maybe we can add a little animation to this bird. Okay, so maybe at about frame 10, we can add a, another keyframe here. So that way the first keyframe and the last keyframe are the same. And maybe in the middle, I'll add one more keyframe and that's when we'll add a change. I'll select the bird, I'll move him up a little bit and I'll just take his wings down to make them flap. All right, so very simple, right? And then if we wanted to, we could add a quick shape tween, which is a way to morph shapes together. We'll get to that in a different video. But for now, there's a quick bird. We can press Command Enter to test it out. Okay, so it's simple, it's not great, but let's see if we can incorporate easing, which is the entire point of this tutorial. So as the bird flies past us, it would appear quicker, right? But like a plane in the distance appears like it's flying very slowly. So this bird, as it goes into the distance, we should probably slow it down and slow down its path. So if we click on the very first keyframe, we can come over here to our properties panel and click on classic ease. And we want this to ease out, right? So as it flies away, it eases out. And you can clearly see that with the graph here, it's starting high and then it slowly eases out. We have a bunch of presets in here. So cubic, you'll see just eases out more. So it starts off even faster and then slows down. Quart starts off even quicker and then really slows down. And Quint, same thing. So this is all just a bunch of presets that you can play with. Let's try Quint for right now. That means it's gonna go really fast and then really slow down near the end. It might be too exaggerated, but we'll give it a shot. Double click, Command Enter to test. And now you can see the bird flying in really, really fast and kind of hovering, easing out as it goes towards that second keyframe perhaps even sitting there a little bit too long. So we can go back into animate and maybe we can click on that first keyframe and come here and maybe change this to just a normal quad. So it doesn't go as fast in the beginning, but still eases out and slows down near the end. Just not as exaggerated. Maybe add one more layer, press the command key as we click and drag across this entire sequence of animation, the entire tween, including the blank keyframe. We can then press the option key as we click and drag and stair step this animation so it starts a few frames behind the other. And I'll press command enter so we can test our movie and see it looping. And now we have two birds flying in and easing out. So we'll play around with all these different presets of easing in and easing out. In some animations, like with character animation, you might want to do an ease in and ease out so that it starts off slow, kind of goes at a normal pace, and then slows down as it stops or enters its final position. There's also custom eases, so I could create a new ease and double click to edit and make my own graph of how much easing in or easing out that I want to add to my animations. I can save this and apply. And then of course I could use this over and over under custom eases. I think an ease should be used with almost every animation. Give it a try. I hope this helped. See you next time.